everyone and a very warm welcome wherever you are in the world to our very first ever Artistic Swimming Masters World Workout. We have nearly 20 countries taking part today and I know they just want to say a very big hi to you all. Technology allowing, hopefully you can see all of them. Hi, say hi. Hi. <laughs> Hello. Hello. Hi. Hi, everybody. Hi. Thanks, everybody. So, can you hear me okay? It's telling me I'm muted, but you can hear me. So that's all good. Technology is working fine. So what's it like being in Masters? And what's Masters all about? Well, it's for any age group really. It can be from 18 all the way up to, I've known people that participate that are in their 80s. And actually in swimming, they had two people that were in the 100 to 109 age group. So there really is no limit when it comes to masters. Some people come into masters because maybe they used to be an elite swimmer and then they had a break and decided they wanted to get fitter again and start competing and actually do really well in uh, regional competitions and world competitions. Some people carry on swimming after they leave, their, uh, leave the elite and they just transition into masters. And then what's really special about masters is that there are people that come into the sport, maybe quite late in life, have never ever tried it before and they just do it for fun and have such a good time and get fit as well. So it's really, really special. It's all about having fun, whatever gender you are, and keeping fit at the same time. So unfortunately, the current situation, all of our competitions are cancelled this year, and that's a real shame. But we were very lucky that Philippa Abro from Portugal well, she got us all together and was inspired to come up with this world workout, all especially for masters, so that we could share the passion and all get together again, so that we are united again with the sport of artistic swimming. And we're very lucky as well to have Inside Synchro involved in the transmission of this. Uh, Christina, many of you, if you're involved in artistic swimming, will know Christina and the fantastic work she does with Inside Synchro. And if you can, when this is over, if you've enjoyed it, then go to the Inside Synchro webpage and maybe make a little donation because everything she does is volunteer, voluntary and she does a fantastic job on behalf of our sport. What I do want to say is please go at your own pace. Don't do anything that you're not used to doing. As I said, it's for all ages. So, you know, you may find some things really easy. You may find some things more difficult, but stay within your comfort zone. That's what's really important. And if you've got a resistance band handy and a towel, then you will find that useful um, as we move through the workouts. But we should have all been heading to the European Championships in uh, Hungary this weekend in beautiful Budapest and unfortunately obviously it got cancelled so we thought what better place to start our workout with a warm-up from Sophie from Hungary. A big hello for everybody I'm very glad, glad to be here with you all of you um, we are very happy uh, here uh, to have a workout uh, with you and I hope we can meet personally in the next year uh, here in Hungary <laughs> okay and now let's go uh, let's go and uh, start warm up with some music <laughs> Oh! 
Thank you, Sophie. What a wonderful workout. I assume everybody is nicely warmed up now as we move into strength training. And we're going to go with Cheryl from Holland and Jana from Austria, starting with Jana. Hello, here's Jana. We start with the we sit. So I start the music. I hope you can hear it. And we hold. Okay? The form of we, our legs are extended and we hold for 20 seconds. Last second. And now, great strong. Switch the side. That's with your elbows, the knee. Now, 
Now full energy, eight times. Rise your muscles. Only one or two centimeters. Four, three, two, one. And you repeat the session. Hold your wrists, hold. And don't forget smile. After the visit, we have the crisscross again, but now hold. Crisscross now. Last second. And now, pull that lift again, eight times. Let's extend it. Last four. Two. One. Okay, perfect. Now, we are on the side, we lie on the side. And we will rise the legs, okay? So we are ready. Eight times. Lift both legs. But keep the feet together. Another four. Lift both legs. Three. Two. One. Now side check me. We won't touch with the finger the feet. Four. Three. Two. One, slow, high, high, back, back. Last. And we change the side. Okay. Both feet together. And we lift the leg. Eight times. Last four, four, three, two, one more. Check now, eight people, eight, seven, six, and always touch the feet. Three, slow, high and down. Go and back. Last time. And we change to reverse plan. And we hold the fingers toward, towards the toe. We hold, yes. Body is now a nice line. Uh, don't fit. We need a line. Last second. Now we go to reverse. Same as of pose. Rise one leg and one arm. And touch the feet. Last six. Last four. Last two. 
Okay, hi guys. Um, I'm Cheryl and this is my joint partner Anouk. We're from the Netherlands. And we're going to do eight exercises of 30 seconds each. So pick your own pace and uh, find your own max. If you need breaks uh, in between, that's fine. So um, what I will do is I'll explain quickly each exercise and then we'll get in position and I start the timer. Um, for the full version, you watch me and for the modified version, you can watch Anouk, and uh, I hope you enjoy. Put on some music. Okay, everybody to your feet, because we're going to start with some squat jumps. So what we're going to do is you're make a nice wide squat. Your knees turn out, and what you're going to do is you jump up and close your legs in the air, like this and you get back into squat position. If this is too hard, you can do a jump in between. If you really don't want to jump at all, you just close one leg to another and switch between legs. So, pick your turn hands and we're going to start. So everybody, legs wide, lower down in squat, and time is on, so let's go. Keep a straight posture. Keep your chest open and your chin up. Take your time in your squat to prepare your jump. <laughs> okay, that was the first one. Good job. For the next one. We're also in our squat position. So again, we make a wide squat. We lower ourselves down and we go and roll our feet up and slowly down. That's all we will do. If this is hard, you can straighten up. If you really don't want to do this squat, just stand with your legs together. So, let's go, legs wide, knees turn up, and let's go. Use your arms for support. I would like to do the ballet first position. Do it as slow as you can to gain control. Okay, good job. For the rest of the exercises, we'll be doing all our hands. First exercise is going to work our arms and back up for a bit. So we're going to start with tricep uh, push ups. So your arms are close to your body, elbows close to your body. So you start like this. You lower yourself to the ground in two steps. One, two, stretch your arms out, lift arms and legs, squeeze the back. Lay down here, put your hands, and it gives us up. For the modified version, you can do it on your knees, and you can do it the same way. If you don't want to do the back, that's okay, then do the push up. So, everybody ready? And uh, let's go. Okay, that was it. So for our core and our obliques, we're going to do uh, side planks. So what we want to do is get up and point towards the sky. Okay, we're back. Okay, for the modified version, you can also do this on your knees. 
And if you don't want to do the reach through, this will just hold with your head on your hip. So, everybody ready? On your elbow, stretch up and reach through. Don't drop your hips or your head. Really squeeze this side of your body. Okay, we move on to the other side. Thank you if you need to. And release. Okay, it was good for your weeks. We're going to roll over to our backs because we're going to work the ass and your legs for me. What you will do, you make a double of that leg. You move one leg towards your chest, drop it just above the floor, and up again, switch legs. And if you can stretch your legs, just keep them bent. And if it's a little too heavy, you can just make a top. Pull in your knee, stretch out your leg. So two versions, inter version, and we're going to start. Legs up, keep your legs as straight as possible. Pull your belly button to the ground. Keep your chin up. Hi. Hi everyone, welcome back. Sorry about the technical issues that we just had then, but we're now going to carry on with what was an absolutely fabulous workout and we're going to stay in Europe and we're going to focus on basic positions and movements. So we're going to join Michaela and Alexia from Italy, the mum and daughter duet, and then um, Anne from Switzerland. Okay, hi. Hello from Italy. Hi, I'm Michela. I'm Alessia. Nice to meet you all. Now we are going to do a ballet leg uh, and then flamingo and double ballet leg in two versions. That is for older uh, master and then. And for the younger master, follow me with the, in a way faster. Okay, let's go. <laughs> So put your body to the floor in, and in then a basic position. So five, six, seven, eight. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. 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 The other one. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. 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 Flamingo. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. 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 Double leg. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Stop. Okay. And now for the younger master. Okay, let's go. Five, six, seven, eight. One, two, three, four, 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 five, six, seven, eight. And then we do just like in a duet. With ballet leg, the same. Five, six, seven, eight. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. 
One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. So. And now there is a, a small routine. Um, and uh, she she's explaining and uh, you have to put your body down and then uh, we'll do uh, for for four time ballet leg with the stop up in this way five six seven eight one two three four five six seven and then back five six seven eight one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. And then uh, there is uh, the flamingo in this way. Five, six, seven, eight. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Stop. Okay, let's do this together. Together, or together. So let's go. Five, six, seven, eight. One, two, three, four. Five, six, seven. 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 Stop. One more. One more. And then we repeat it. Ready? Five, six, seven, eight. One, two, three, four. Five, six, seven. One, two, three, four. Five, six, seven. One, two, three, four. Five, six, seven. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Stop. Now, we, the, the last one, we start with the ballet leg up, and then we have the change, one another. Okay, this way for eight times. Ready? Five, six, seven, eight. One, two, three, four. Five, six, seven. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Stop. Okay. Thank you, everybody. Thank you. Bye bye. Hello. Hi, can you hear me? I hope everybody is well. So we're gonna do some skull. I have an exercise. We will do three times, 10 movements from the back layout, this with the elastic, then support skull, and then the torpedo. So you can take your bounce. Just do it the foot lens, then stand up. And if you're ready, let's go. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Then support skull. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Be careful to stay right. And then the torpedo, a little bit longer. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. And now two more times. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. And then one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Last one. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. And torpedo. One, two, three. Four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. 
Now we can do the thrust with the bond. So the thrust, you just stand up, then you go to your feet, and we will do it with the bounce this way. So be careful not to be too short and not too long. And we will do it five times. Just stand in the bond if you're ready. Go. One, two, three, four, five. So we're gonna do a second one for the trust. It's a bit difficult, but it's it's good for the muscles. So you lay down. And then you will do it up with your leg. So I hope you can see me there. We will do it five times. One, two, three, four, five. And now we will do some pipe position. So this position from back layout to this position. So you can touch your legs and then go up. I show you one time and then we will do it five times. So I show you, you touch your leg and then up and then down. So five times, one, two, three, four, five. And the last exercise, the small seconds of different position. So it will be right crane, left crane, side crane, and then back crane and back crane. You need a little bit room because you can do it by walking or staying in the same place. So I show you, you put your arm this way and then crane, crane, Side, back, back. We can do it three times. So, crane, crane, side, back, back. Crane, crane, side, back, back. And the last one. Crane, crane, side, back, back. That's it. I hope you enjoy it. <laughs> very much. Gosh, that was some really good synchronization there from Michaela and Alexia. Really good to see you both. Um, the synchronization was amazing, even on land. Um, and, and some really good tips there for sculling. So now we're going to fly all the way to South America and we're going to meet up with Angelica. Angelica has done an amazing job for us because she did the flyer, uh, spent a lot of time on that, so we're really appreciative. So over to you, Angelica. Hello, guys. We will do some um, school uh, exercises. Um, now we we'll start with uh, back layout position, foot first scoop, okay? Like this. Let's go. Five, six, seven, eight, and one, two, three, four, five. Six, seven, 
eight more. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Now, back layout position, head first, first school, like this. Okay? Put your tire band in your neck and let's go. Five, six, six, seven, eight, and one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Now we will do a ballet leg position. Um, Sorry, but I like uh, school with, with your turban in your uh, feet. First, we will do uh, with right leg and then with uh, left uh, leg. Let's go. And one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, one, Two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Left hand, oh, left leg, and five, six, seven, eight. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. That's it. Hello guys, how are you? Now we do a sequence of super tall, three times, and up. Three times of super tall and up. We do eight times. All right. Let's go together. My count: five, six, seven, eight. One, two, three, four, and up. One, two, three, and up. One, two, three, three. One, two, three, four. One. Two, three, five. One, two, three, six. One, two, three, seven. And one, two, three, eight. Well done, perfect. And now, our last exercise is without elastic. And we do one more season of benefit of. Okay, let's go. Let's repeat eight times this season. Ready? Five, six, seven, eight. One, two, three, and One, two, three, and and um, that was so again some really good tips the sculling is so important when it comes to artistic swimming and if you don't get the sculling technique right then nothing else works so it's really important to focus on that as much as possible so now we're going to cross two continents 
We're going to the USA and also to Europe. We're going to have Anna from the USA, Ren from Belgium, Pierre from Russia, and Laura from Great Britain. And they're going to be looking at extension and flexibility. Hi guys. So we're going to start a bit of flex, but we're going to go very slowly because some of us are not 20 anymore. And so we don't want to rush too hard on the flexibility. So we're going to do some mobility in order to open uh, our joint in a nice way. So you're going to open, you feel like shoulders apart and then go in a deep squat. Okay, from here you really have to have your heels on the ground, otherwise you will not balance and then you will really be tough on your knees. From there you're going to join the hands and push with your elbow on your knees. And you're just going to push there and try also to extend as much as possible your torso. So you're going to stretch most of your uh, legs muscles, your legs joints, but also your lower back. And it's also a good exercise to keep a good range of motion for your egg beater. Okay, for, the, for those with, which is already hard, you can stay there. For the other one who wants to challenge a bit more than self, we're going to add some difficulty. So you're going to take your right hand and put it on your right, left feet. And from there, you're going to open up your body. And we're going to stay here for a moment. Okay, we're going to switch. So left hand, right foot, and we open the other way. Okay, we go back in. We're going to get back our hands together and push it in on your knees. Try to be very big, very proud. And we're going to stay for another 10. For another 5. 3, 2, 1. Okay, we're going to slide on your right and go into a lunge. So first just move a bit to open your psoas a little bit and when you feel ready you're going to start to push. Okay, really try to have your hips go into your heels. Okay, not especially right down but in a diagonal. So we're going to push, we try to open the psoas and then the lower glute, your arm strings. So for those who want a bit of challenge, picture yourself as a pair of jeans and you're going to tuck your hands in your back pocket. Okay, from there you're going to try to close the elbow as much as possible and look up. And from there you're going to add a bit of pressure to your joint. And we're going to stand on the 10. Five, three, two, one, stop. Okay. We're going to switch the body on the back, extend the front leg. So I start again with the easy version and then I have the challenge for those who want. So from here, we're just going to lower our body and try to go on our front leg. For those with, which is a bit easy, you can start to flex. And if you want even a more difficult version, spread your arms and you go down, keeping your arms up and you will feel a lot more stretch and your body. Okay, we're going to stay there for another 10. One of the five. Oh, 
Okay, we go back to the lunge. And we're gonna extend the back leg. Okay, we really try to push it, the hips down as much as we can. And from here, we're gonna make our right feet go to the left and lower ourselves to a pigeon's position. Okay, if you're really flexible, you can have a 90 degree angle with your knee. If not, you can close a bit. The angle here, okay, we try to be as straight as possible with a little arc in the lower back. Okay, and now Laura is going to take over. Hello everyone. So we're gonna keep going from the pigeon position where one is. And now we're gonna go up in lounge again. Rotating on the central and Let's go back to the squat position. Again, try to take your chest open, chin up, and try to push with your elbows on your knees as much as you can. We're okay, gonna stay here other 10 seconds. And three, two, one, let's go ready to go on the other side. So put your arms down first, rotate, and let's go back to your lunge position. So if you're really flexible again, just push down with your hips, try to push your right hips down, and try to put your hands back and, close, and open your chest as much as you can. See if this, if this is just easy for you, you can also try to take your hand, your leg from your back and try to close it as close as you can to your bum. If it's, this is too hard, you can stay in this position or you can just try to go up a bit with your feet. We can stay in this position. Five, four, three, two, and push down your leg. And let's go down on half split. Again, as Ryan said before, you can just go down, try to take your back straight with your hands here. If this is too easy, just start from here, opening your arms, open your chest, and try, really try to go down with your back straight. Don't forget to take your hips in a square. So all the time push your right hips forward. And five, four, three, two, and stop. Put your hands down again and Push your body on the front in lunge position. So your right leg needs to get straight and be careful. Your feet need to stay in line with your knees. Not go forward, not go too backward. So stay in this position. If this is easy, you can try to go up with your back. Okay, do not touch the floor and stay in balance. You can easily go up with your arms or stay here, that's up to you. We say 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, and slowly go down with your arms, go down with your knees. Let's rotate again on your front. Squat position last time. Ten, nine, eight, seven, six, five, 
four, three, two, and slowly come up. We can shake our leg, and I'm gonna leave Vera and Anna go forward with the flexibility part. Thank you. Hi everyone. Um, so what Vera and I are gonna do, we're gonna split. I will speak to the first four exercises and I will be showing you the easy version and Vera will be showing you the long version. We'll continue on Ren and Lara's uh, idea of keeping a position so that we have, give our body a time to, to stretch. Okay, so the first exercise is going down to our right and again take your, um, you know, use your body and just know what your limits are. Moving to the center portion, hold and moving to the left portion. And we go back, move to the center, again with your, if your comfort allows, you can, you can really pull yourself down. Moving to the right. One more time. Center, the hamstring should be really stretching to your left leg and last center slowly get up next exercise get to your right leg push your knee with your elbow again there should be a lot of tension and hold the position you should feel the stretch on both legs. Transitioning to your left, again, that will be giving you the, the complicated version. For me, I, you always want to use the port as I'm in my 50s. <laughs> Try to keep your back straight. There is Vera. Transition to the right again. Keep your back straight. And one last time. Okay. Third exercise. Bend down, again, up to you, the comfort level. Squat, bend down. We're going to do 15 repetitions. It was supposed to be more, but we're running out of time. Try to extend as you're in this position so that the back of your legs is really stretching. Six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen. 15. Last exercise for me is the butterfly. Again, I am your negative control, which means I'm not very flexible. You can push down with your hands on your knees. It's a gentle stretch. And try to keep your leg, I mean your back straight. If this is not comfortable, you can try to do it one side. But the idea is that this is the focus is on your legs. 
And so the stretch should be in this area. Okay, we hold for 15 seconds. And we go to Vera. Bye, everybody. My first exercise uh, swings by legs to the side, ten repeats. Six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Another side. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Next exercise. Into the floor. For easy version, you can take a uh, elastic band or uh, yoga strap. Into the floor. And stretch right leg on yourself. Straight leg. And hold on. For difficult version, you can take leg and stretch it by yourself. Change the leg, left leg, take by hand, and pelvis on the floor. Okay. And next exercises. Uh, legs by by the sides. Uh, Ten repeats. Two. Three. Four. Five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. And hold and hold on down. Put your put your hand on the leg and push the legs down. And one more time, 10 repeats. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. And hold. Okay, next exercises. For easy version, uh, we have uh, uh, lean uh, to the right side, 
straight legs. For the difficult version, this position. And next, lean forward, straight back. For difficult version, on the floor. And left side, for easy version, like this, for difficult, like this. Okay. And one more exercise. Swings by legs, back. Ten repeats. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Straight leg. Change the leg. One, two, three, four, five. Six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Okay, that's all. Now, and thank you very much from Ren, Laura, Anna, and Vieira. Amazing flexibility there, particularly from uh, Vieira at the end, and it's so important flexibility in the sport of artistic swimming. And take it from me, it doesn't get any easier as you get older. But now we're going to travel to Asia and to South Korea, place very close to my heart because we had the World Championships there last year in Gwangju, and it's wow, it's later than two o'clock in the morning um, in. In South Korea. So we're going to be looking at back flexibility and then we're going to go to Italy. So we're going to go Yung Yi Yang, uh, also known as Christina, and uh, Virginia. Hello everybody! My name is Christina and English name, uh, Korean name is Jung Yi Yang and since I live in the US so I put the two flags here, okay? So now we're gonna do back flexibility workout. Before we start, we're gonna do stretch for the wrist and arm and shoulder and neck. Okay, are you ready? Okay, oh, can't see well. Okay. Just follow me, please. Rotate the wrist clockwise. Open, close the finger. Hands to the floor, palm facing up, and flip your fingers. Turn up, facing to your phone. Switch your hand. Cross, pull it your arm. Switch your arm. Raise your arm, grab, and push your arm. Change. Okay. 
pants to the floor. Forty five degrees. Switch side. Raise your arm to the side. Forty five degrees turn. Grab your ankle, push down. Change your leg. Push down. And coming back to the center. Okay, next is again, right, si right leg toward to the side, bending your left leg inside. And we will do like this. One, put behind you. Two, stand up. This time you can move leg forward. And then three, four. Okay, again, one, two, three, swing, four, five, six, seven, eight. Four times right side, four times left side. Are you ready? We're gonna do with music. One, two, up, swing, one more. Change, switch leg. Okay, next is lying down on your stomach. <laughs> Sorry. Okay, lying down your stomach. Put your hands next to the chest and we're gonna push up. Stretch your back and look at the right side and look at the, your left side and coming back uh, again push up and then use your right hand go back to behind you and touch your left leg hold it and coming back left side also, we're gonna do with music. Are you ready? Okay, go. Right side. left side come back to the center come down slowly again up use right hand go back to behind 
touch your le left leg. Come back to the center. Left hand, touch your right leg. Come back to the center. And, uh, directly, we're gonna like, go child pose. Relax. Okay, next will be Virginia from Italy. She's gonna continue to back flexibility. Okay, bye. Hi everybody, I'm Virginia from Italy. I'm going to show you other exercises for back flexibility. Let's start. Bend on your knee. Take with the left hand, your left ankle, then right. Close your chest and repeat five times to the right, left, five times to the right. Okay, let's start. Go one, close your chest, two, close your chest, three, four, and five. To the right, go one, two. Three, four, and five. Okay. Um, put your um, hips above your knee. Extending your arms, keep them active and push on the floor with your fingers. Try to touch the floor with your chest and hold 30 seconds. Then, if you feel pain, you can relax your hand and don't push on the floor. Ten, nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one, zero. From this, try to extend right leg then left leg in this way one and return two and return ten, ten times one two three four five six seven eight nine ten okay the next exercise you lie on the ground extending arms and leg try to take your ankle and open chest and extended leg ten times with left and with right leg one chain two Change three, four, five, six, seven, last three, one, two, the last one, and three. Now more difficult, try to take both legs and open everybody. If you feel pain, you can stay in this position and only open your chest. If you can, you can try to open more. 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, Three, two, 
One. Ok, stop. To relax, we are going to cut pose so we can stretch our back. Ok, the last one to stretch, lie on the ground, take your right leg and relax. Change the other leg. Both legs. Stretch your back, relax your neck and breath. Okay. Thank you, everybody. Bye bye from Italy. Thank you very much to Christina and to Virginia. And now we're going to move on and uh, look at a bit more flexibility, in also including flexibility of the feet, which is quite unique in, in our sport. So you'll need a towel and um, a resistance band if you have one. So we're going to travel to Holland with Bertha and Germany with Manuela. I know she won't mind me mentioning this, but it's um, important to mention that Manuela had cancer two years ago. And she says that Synchro really helped her to get through that journey. Um, and Masters is so good for your mental and physical health. So really good to see her looking so well. So passing over to Thursa and Manuela. Hi everybody. Before we're gonna start with the flexibility of the feet, we're gonna warm them up first. You can sit down for this one. And you can put them on your thighs. You can put them next to you, or you can do the easy layout position and just lay like this. You start with flexing the feet and then pointing them. Just flexing them and pointing them and make it so high as possible for the most flexible position that you can make it. And you point, make it your feet as long as possible. You keep flexing and pointing. Flexing and pointing. Then we got a variation on this. You flex one feet and point the other, and then you switch. So flex one feet and point the other, and then just keep switching. Then you flex both feet, then you're gonna roll in a circle. So you roll them to the outside, point them again forward, rolling to the inside, flex them again, and rolling to the outside. Pointing, rolling inside, flexing, roll to the outside, and then continue. Then we're going to roll the other side. So we go outside first, then the inside, outside, flex them again, inside, point, outside, flex, point. For a more difficult variation, one is going to the outside and the other one is going to the inside. Try if you can do this. One is going to the outside circle and the other feet is doing the inside circle. We just keep rolling them so we get them nice and warm. Next, you can don't use your mat because it's a little thick. You can use a towel for this one. Put your feet almost at the end and use your toes to curl up your towel. When you have them all curled up below your feet, then use your toes to straight the towel again back. Use your toes curling your towel up, 
and use your toes. Keep stretching and put your towel back in the normal position. And you can do that again. So you curl them up and then use your toes. Straight in your towel again. You can make it a little bit more difficult. Can you use more towel? You have more time for that. And you need more time to stretch your towel away. So we're going to do that one more time. Just keep curling your toes to towel. And then try to straighten them again. I think our feet are really warm now. So now we go to Manuela and she will do the real reflecting exercises. See you. Hello, everybody. Yes, we now start with our feet. And my first exercise is also sitting. So you only see my feet and not my head. So we start flexed feet. First of all, we start with the right feet, only to straight the ankle then the toes, toes, ankle. This we will repeat five times. And now we change to the other side. Ankle, toe, toe, ankle. Now we do it with both feet. Okay, now we have a more difficult version. You need your flex band. Put it on one foot, on the toes, on the upper part, yes. So get it straight with your arms. So flex feet, same procedure, but only for the younger ones. Ankle, toe, toe, ankle. And now we change. Okay, now with both feet. Okay, now we switch. We lay one leg above the other. You take your foot and straighten it above. So you flex the outside of your foot. A bit calm. On the other side. So now you do it with the inside. the part above, your toes, if you like to, you can press it in the other direction. Okay, and now in this way. Okay, so now we change the foot. The other one, also the first time, the outside stretching. 
and calm. The inside stretching. Now your toes to this direction. And the straight. Okay, perfect. Next one. You stand a little bit up. Go on your knees. The toes are on the ground. And you like to sit on your ankles. So you sit and you feel how is the stretching on the downside of your foot. Okay. Now you flex up, you straighten your feet, and now you sit down. Okay. Now it doesn't hurt, so we lift our left knee. And now we change to the right one. And again, the left side. Okay, and again, the right side. Okay, now we stand up. You go on your foot. And now you are balancing. Like this. And now, high. On the back and high. Okay, and three more times. Okay, the next exercise, you get your big toe on the ground and you do circles like this. Okay, now change the direction. And we change to the other foot. Okay, the next one, you do a stretching and this part stretch to this direction. So now you feel how it hurts in the upper part of your foot. And relax, change the foot. Okay, once more, the right side. And again, the left side. And now for the people who have very flexible feet, you can also stand on both foot and stand like this. But now we need also a massage for our feet. If you have a flexi roll or a bottle, you also can use your bottle and do it like this and doing a little massage. Also with the other foot. Okay. And this was my part, food flexibility. Thank you, Andrea.
you, Sophia. Thank you, Manuela. I'm certainly going to be continuing to do some of those exercises to keep up the feet flexibility. But now, before we move on to the final Zumba, um, we have a chance to actually do something a little bit different. In artistic swimming, it's really important that you have expression and that you tell a story throughout the choreography for the judges and also for the audience. So we have somebody here who is excels at that, which is Dominique from France, who's going to give you some hints and tips. Is my turn? That's good, Dominique. We can hear you. Yes. Yes, we can. can. I mean, it's, my, it's my turn. I was thinking it, it was a Zumba, but okay. No. Okay. Uh, we are uh, artistic uh, swimming. And why it's artistic swimming? Because we are artistic. You know that. And routine uh, should be a real harmony between different parameters. Of course, the, the scenes and the musical composition chosen is very important, are very important. The big difference, technical difference between the swimmers need to be adapted for the routines. And because sometimes it's too difficult and we need to adapt all the time, uh, uh, very precisely that. And of course, the artistic creativity will make a big difference for the audience, for the judge, and if, and the result is also, uh, always a personal interpretation. Basic emotion need to be on your face, on your arm, on your body, and your interpretation of the music. I will show you some basic things, and we will try after that with the music to find the good compromise. But please play with me when I will put the music and to find the face adapted of the music. Show, sure. look at that. Okay, did you see the woman? No, I'm not particular. Yeah. You see that? And the man with different emotion, like the sadness, very good, surprise, joy, anger, distance, and fear. Now we need Please try with me. I will put some music, different music, the short extras about that. Let's go. Are you ready? Is a is a love with your mom, is a sadness maybe, 
you know? I don't know, you choose what you want, but you need to have the expression all the time, every time. It's a fun. Now, now another one. Happy birthday to you. Happy it was a surprise, and that now it's a bonus. Every time, everybody needs to try, and you choose your face what you want. Bonus. <laughs> Let's go and finish. It's a just a basic of the interpretation and I would like to play with you to have a fun because you know psycho in master is fun. Bye bye. Bye bye, Dominique. Thank you so much. That was so expressive and so much fun. And I know that you love this sport and have as much fun as the, the rest of us. And we always enjoy watching you swim. So finally, we are going to be going back to Portugal and to Philippa, who is the person who organized all of this on behalf of the Masters community. So she's going to be joined by some of her colleagues called B, Ignacio, Gabriel. Teresa and Carla, I don't know if I pronounce those all right, but hopefully. So I'm going to hand you over to Philippa. So thank you, Andrea, for your words. Thank you, everyone. Thank you so much for being here and joining us and sharing your exercise. It's so good to have a moment, a master moment to be together. Unfortunately, we cannot go live. However, we are recording and we will be at YouTube. So thank you also for the others master that have entered to our Zoom meeting. So good to see you uh, and thank you again. So be uh, before we start the, our dance, because we dance in the water, in, for me is what I like most. I like to say some words for us to recover. Okay, so I would like Again, to say thank you for all the masters that have come here and um, um, share your exercise. To you, Andrea, to be our amazing host. And I would like also to say thank you to my coach, Joanna, that is on the backstage and she's doing the spotlights. And also because she was the first person that I've spoken about this project, about this event. And like always, she encouraged me to go ahead. Also, I'd like to say thank you to my lovely teammates because they always accept my crazy ideas, my challenge with a positive attitude and a big smile. So thank you to Pri, a Tânia, a Teresa, a Marta, a Zélia, a Carla Silva, a Carla Estevão, a Inês e Claudia. Thank you so much. So I would like also to say thank you to two persons, two masters, because um, ha has everyone known we were supposed to have an open masters in here in Portugal. And I was so excited to meet some, some, some masters. And um, so thank you for being here. The gold medalist, European medalist of the duet mix, mix duet, Ignacio from Spain. <laughs> Hi, Ignacio. <laughs> Hello, hello. Thank you, Philippa and everybody for being here and make this community bigger. I hope to see you soon in a pool, I hope. Yeah. And enjoy more time together. Thank you. And 
Everyone that know me knows that I have a little crush on the choreography of Canada. And so I was so pleased to have a Canadian athlete team here in Portugal, but unfortunately she, we couldn't do our open. But she's here, Canada is here with us. So thank you, Gabriel. <laughs> Hey everyone, thank you Philippa for everything and I hope I'll meet you soon. Yes, 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 I hope so. <laughs> thank you. So, and to end my thank yous and my words because I'm still speaking and we need to go to dance to finish our training. I would like to say also thank you to Christina, to Inside Synchro. Um, she has an amazing website. It's so good to read her articles, uh, to see the interviews. And it's so important because our sports needs to be known worldwide. So thank you, thank you, thank you, Christina. Okay, so let's go to our training to finish. Portugal have made the choreography with different levels of difficulty. But of course, we have synchro movements. <laughs> So, if you want to, to do the level A, you need to watch Teresa. Hi, Teresa. Hi. Olá. Hi. She has um bocadinho freeze, but okay. <laughs> However, if you want to have a challenge, you need to follow Carla. Hi, Carla. Olá. Olá, everybody. So, as you know, we cannot do the two spotlights at the same time time. So you need to see Teresa and then we will see Carla and then we'll see Teresa and then we'll see Carla. If you want, you can do only one or if you want, you can do the two of them. Okay? Or if you want, you can dance, be free, dance by yourself. Okay? It's like Dominic said, this is a moment for joy, to have fun and above all, to be happy. Let's go!
I hope that everybody's feeling very happy after that. So we have reached the end of the workout. We, I would like to really thank everybody who's taken part, all of the athletes, and it's been just such a fabulous reunion at a time when we're not seeing each other. So thank you all so much. And a special thank you to everybody who has joined us as well. And we hope that you've got a lot out of it. So before we say one final goodbye, there's a chance to see all of the athletes one more time. <laughs> so big waves from everybody. Thank you very much. We hope to Thank see you. Thank you. Bye. 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 Thank you. Bye. 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 Ciao. <laughs> bye bye. Merci, thank you. Ciao, ciao. ciao. Hope to see you soon. Yeah. So, thanks everybody. We'll see you soon. Bye. And keep on training, keep on working hard, keep on having fun. That's the most important thing.